Alright guys, if you guys are not aware, there's this new, uh, what is this called? Game of the Year award going on right now. I don't know how many of you guys are aware of this. Uh, if you play games, you might have heard of this. So there's a different category for everything, for example, like best, uh, most anticipated game. So you get to choose between Final Fantasy, Resident Evil 4, whatever, whatever. And then there's also uh, games for impact. Wow. Best action adventure. Best multiplayer. Best family. Hmm. Best multiplayer. Overwatch. Splatoon. So if you guys are not aware, the category that I'm interested in is of course... Best mobile game! Hi! Hi! Best mobile game. Guess what? Wow! Wow! Apex Legends Mobile. Diablo Immortal. Genshin! Hi! Marvel Snap. These nuts. Tower of Fantasy. Damn. Now, looking at the pictures, first glance. Tower of Fantasy has the sexiest picture, let's be real. They purposely choose this picture, they show the S, Nemesis is there. Wow, they're smart actually. But can that be enough? The rest, not sexy picture. This one, muscular dude. That's a dude, right? The second one, muscular demon. Wow. Genshin Impact, Marvel's, I don't know. Like, I'm gonna be real with you guys. It doesn't matter what the other categories are. I feel like Genshin is gonna win this, right? Like somebody has said earlier, like, I, I really think like no matter, it doesn't matter if you have the best game, it depends on how big your game is, how massive your game is, and how big is your community. Like Genshin is, Genshin players are going to vote for Genshin for sure. Like there's no avoiding this. Gen, like how much overlap do you think there are between the mobile games players between all of these games? Like how much overlap do you think there will be? Like, do you think Genshin players play Diablo Immortal? Probably not. Do you think Genshin players play Apex Legends Mobile? I don't think so. Genshin players play Tower of Fantasy? Maybe. There's a small fraction, I think. Not all of them. But small fraction. I don't know, Marvel Snap is like, all of these are too different of a game. Uh, this one is a shooting game, right? So only the shooters will play this game. Diablo Immortal is like a MMO, RPG, sing single... Is it an MMO? It is an MMO, right? I think they categorize themselves as MMO, gacha, whatever. Genshin is a single player gacha with uh, a little bit of online elements. Marvel Snap is a card game, right? And then Tower of Fantasy is, I guess, I'm surprised Tower of Fantasy is here. If Genshin lose this, Twitter is gonna blow up. Wow. Genshin won't lose this. I think they're gonna win this for sure because they have the most community, like they have the biggest player base. So, actually, I'm not sure. How big is the community for Apex Legends Mobile? I feel like Apex Le there's a lot of... I have a feeling that a lot of Apex Legends... Apex Legends is pretty huge, right? Is it as big as Call of Duty or PUBG Mobile? I'm not familiar with the shooter community or whatever, but... Yeah, probably Genshin is gonna have the highest chance. But let's cast Genshin aside, right? Like, I just want to, like, theoretically... Theoretically speak without Genshin on the on, on this particular list. Wait, huh. I don't know. Is it fair for them to include Genshin here though? Like I'm, now that I think of it, this is a game, this is a yearly thing, right? Genshin is not this year. Yeah, that's, that's what I was about to say. Genshin is not this year. Genshin is uh two years ago. So how come Genshin is here? Hmm, how come Genshin is here guys? Where is the malware on December? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what causes what causes the games to be here and what causes the game to not be here. Like what's the effect here, right? But it's just weird. Yeah, Genshin is not 2022. Genshin is 20 but I think it's because new platform release. No, this is on mobile game. So I think it's not fair for Genshin to be here, but hey, I, I don't know how, how it works actually. What's the what's the rules? It just say for the best game playable on the mobile device. I think you don't have to be released this year. I could be wrong. Is Apex Legends mobile released this year? Does anyone know? Uh, let me go to the other. Okay, let, let's let's investigate. Let's look at other categories. Let's say best indie. Best indie is Call of the Lamb, Neon White, Sifu, Stray, Tunic. 
I don't know any of these games except for Stray. I did play Stray, a uh, very cool cat game. I don't know any of these games. Are they released this year? Yeah, mobile game? I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure, actually. Sifu is a good game. <laughs> Maybe I'll play it one day, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if uh, Stray winning, no diff. It's hard to compare Sifu with Stray, but I'll be, I'll be honest with you, Stray will have more fans, I think. The truth is Stray is more family friendly. Like, don't get me wrong, Sifu can be the best game ever, but I think I saw it's quite violent, right? Kids won't be playing that game, parents won't let their kids play that game. But parents will most likely let their kids play Stray. You get what I'm saying? And Stray might even appear, appeal to the female audiences. Which I don't think Sifu would. I could be wrong, but I don't think there's many female players that will play something like Sifu. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know about the rest though. I don't know what Neon White, Call of the Lamb, uh, Tunic is. But uh, there's this thing called Game of the Year as well, right? Game of the Year is going to be between this one. So Game of the Year, Plague Tale Requiem. I have no idea what the heck that is. Elden Ring, I've heard a lot of good things about Elden Ring. God of War Ragnarok, which I think just came out recently. Uh, surprised that they are on the list. Uh, God of War Ragnarok. Uh, Horizon Forbidden West, I'm surprised it made it to this list because nobody talks about it. And I think it's a console only. Stray is here as well. Xenoblade Chronicles, I think some of you guys were talking about it, but these are the game of the year. I'm not sure. Pro probably Elden Ring gonna win, I either or God of War. Not sure Stray can compete with Elden Ring or God Stray is like, I finish it in 3 days. I finish it in 3 days. I mean not, not over, not 3 days as in 24 hours times 3, but it's like one day I play for like 3 to 4 hours. So it's about 10 hours more max if you explore everything. God of War or Elden Ring will win. But yeah, rega regarding uh regarding this one i think it's a little bit unfair that genshin is here because i think the other games let me check apex legends mobile apex legends mobile so this is apex legends mobile on the uh google play this when is updated release on may 16th 2022 so you, you don't want to check on how when it was last updated, you want to check on when it was released. So you can see May 16th of 2022. So I think the rest of this list is all this year. The rest of this list is all this year. Read the Game Awards fact. I'm not going to read a 600 billion words essay just to know if Genshin is supposed to be here or not. But I'm guessing, I'm guessing, here's my theory, right? Maybe because Genshin has a new area, right? New area. So Sumeru, so that counts like a new thing. So it counts like a new update to the game. I, I, it is, it's more complicated because the game is still receiving updates. So it's not like a game that got released, but it's a game that still gets updates. So it's like a gacha game, right? The, the thing with card game communities are, card game communities are quite divided. I don't think, I could be wrong, right? I don't know how many of you guys play card games, but card games community, they don't play multiple card games like the gacha games community. For example, it's very common to see somebody playing a gacha game like Genshin and then also played PGR and also played uh, Epic 7 and also played other gacha games. But you rarely see somebody that plays card game like, let's say, Hearthstone. You rarely see, see them play Yu-Gi-Oh! And you rarely see them play... Uh, what's the other one? What's the other famous card games? Hearthstone, Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic the Gathering. You rarely see them play multiple uh, card games. I think they usually just play one. Or is it Legends of Legends of Runeterra? Is it also the famous one? And of course, a uh, Marvel Snap right now. I'm a multiple TCG player. Yeah, they, they, of course, there are some uh, anomaly. But I'm just saying, like speaking, like in in general, I think it's quite rare. But hey, it is what it is, you know.